let's go on to a quick game of Name That Logical Fallacy. This is an uh, occasional segment that we have in the show where we go over something that we've encountered in email or something on the Internet and try to pick out the flaws in the logic of the person who, who is writing. This was an email that I got from a someone who came across uh, my blog so, who calls herself just Heather. And I, I can't read the entire exchange. It will be in the show notes. Uh, but we, Heather took exception to my stance on science-based medicine, and she writes in part, do we really need science to prove that eating seasonal, local, organic when you, when you can make sense? Do we really need science to prove that what you do has an effect on you? You mean it isn't con- this isn't common sense, intuitive? Reason and logic has its place, but so does intuition. Intuition will save your life. That was sort of the core of her first email. It's like you don't really need science to to right. support our opinions that we can follow our intuition. Yeah, well, and, and intuition has served us so well in the past. I yeah, mean, right. I, I totally understand <laughs> why she she feels that way. Yeah, so she's just asserting a premise here that intuition is reliable. As Steve, reliable let's define intuition. Let's define. Yeah, it. though that's that's part of the problem, and yeah. and and you're going to see that come up. Actually, this this is not the, this is just a setup for the real section that I want to get to, but let's just put that aside. That that's a good question. What is the operative definition? What actually is intuition? So I wrote back to her and just explained, you know, why I endorse science based medicine, and just also defining what science is. So often my response to people says, oh, we don't need science to tell us what to believe. Um, I say, well, you know, what do you think science is? I wrote, there is nothing magical about science. It is simply a systematic way for carefully and thoroughly observing nature and using consistent logic to evaluate results. So which part of that exactly do you disagree with? Do you disagree with being thorough, using careful observation, being systematic, or using consistent logic? 